unfortunateness of you're losing Ella. Mm -hmm. What did you learn about yourself to in that moment? And if there's, what's a major tip that you can share with a lot of those families? So I know you do a lot of advocate work mm -hmm. then with Salvation Army, March of yeah. Dimes, all those places. So if there's maybe a tip you can give us to, um, in particular, when that happens to somebody, I think it's a little awkward for some of us to like, what's ever the right thing to say? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I'm sure you are having gone through that, some people may not always say the smartest thing. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's one way to put it. <laughs> um, you know, my situation with Ella was, it was different than a lot of people's because I was a radio personality. I was on three different shows at the time. I was on three different stations. And she was a big part of the character that I played on those shows. So she had, you know, intro music every time I went to the doctor. We had a baby update. I was on the air from the hospital when I was in labor with her. I was on the air the morning after I had her. Everybody knew who she was. They followed her journey. And I had only been back to work for two weeks. And I was on the air when I got the phone call that she wasn't breathing. And when I had to call my coworkers to let them know what happened, they took the responsibility upon themselves to share the news on the air with our listeners of what had happened. So not only did I have a response from people that I knew, I had a response from all these strangers who maybe had gone through something themselves and never talked about it or had no idea how I was feeling, but they wanted to give all this advice of what I should do and how I should get past it. And the reality is that losing a child, no matter how long they've been here or how long they were inside you, is a very different loss because you're not losing your past, you're losing your future. That, you know, just doing reflect on that, that's beautifully said. I think that really puts it in perspective for a lot of people who may not have yeah, experienced that or sort of kind of, yeah, kind of get it. But I'm a very emotional <laughs> person. This is why I don't wear mascara on my bottom lashes. So <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm good with everything that's happening right now. Yeah. One of the best things you can do for someone that's lost a child is to just give them a hug. Thank you. Because as a parent, one of your biggest fears is that people are going to forget that that baby existed or that kid existed. And for some people, they don't even know that you did have a baby. And so everybody's kind of in a different place with how they want to move forward or how they want their baby remembered. But saying things like, you can have another one. It's in God's plan, because mm -hmm. God is somebody you are really, really bad at when that happens. That's really the last thing you want to hear. Trying to go through what happened. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that can just simply be avoided, and people think that they're doing something nice, and the intention is always coming from the right place, but it doesn't necessarily come out the right way. And so really just being there and not asking what you can do, but just doing something. Yeah, I think you that's, know, that's, that's really important too, right? Yeah. Especially in, in any time of need, often we don't really ask. Yeah. And we don't know what we're, we may want to ask for or feel odd to go ahead and ask. So I think that's a great point to make, yeah. to just go ahead and do Just do it. You know, and depending mm -hmm. on your relationship with someone, you know, that may look different. But you know, if it's your friend and normally you walk right in the house, Grab their mail on the way in. You know, they might not be having a great day. They might not want to see you. But you can just say, hey, I brought your mail in. Just want to let you know I'm thinking about you today. And if you leave, you leave. And that's okay. But it's just doing something. Because no matter what kind of loss it is, you really have no idea what you need. You don't know when the last time you ate was. You don't know when the last time you showered was. You're making plans for a funeral that you probably don't know how you're going to pay for. You know, there's a lot of other things that are going on in the background. So sometimes just being there can just be the best thing that you can do.